Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 26th, 2019. So, hey everyone, hope you had a great evening last night. Hopefully the weather that's starting to move across the country isn't affecting you just yet. Um, hasn't, hasn't arrived here just yet, but they say imminent snow and a pretty heavy snowfall is what we're expecting here. But so far, no effects so far. So we're looking pretty good. Let's take a look at what's going on in our markets today. Yesterday, what a, what a whopping move. Um, just slice through that record high like um, last week's pullback never even ha happened and I said yes um, last week that this pullback was a very productive pullback and it certainly proved to be just exactly that we pulled back to the trend here in uh, the Dow and boom those diamonds just ripping to the upside yesterday kind of fueled on several different things we were fueled up on um, Hong Kong elections that seem to be pro uh, democracy over there that kind of got the ball rolling with um, um, Asian markets really ripping higher and then we had um, optimism about uh, trade deal kind of pendulum kind of swinging uh, for that and then we ended up with a really big day of mergers that really seemed to continue to inspire those markets higher so very very strong day yesterday probably a little bit of a short squeeze in there too where we had some folks uh, short the market getting squeezed out in such a strong bullish rally so a gap and go yesterday looking very very strong now this morning it's interesting that we are well much more subdued uh, we're looking at uh, maybe opening about where we closed pretty close to a flat open this morning uh, much more subdued and and it, it could be a couple reasons first it could be you know we just need to take a break after such a big record-breaking day may just need to take a rest a break a breather it could also be we're waiting for some inspiration in earnings reports or those economic reports today to help fuel things up it could also be the fact that we are moving into the holiday and with the weather situation around the country we could even see traders starting to take off uh, for their holiday plans early to try and beat that weather to get where they're going so kind of keep that in mind there's a lot of factors that could be affecting this and it, it, it's really not unusual to see the market kind of um, rest get very quiet and choppy low volume um, ahead of a uh, major holiday so just keep that in mind that we'll likely start to see volumes begin to shrink and really by tomorrow morning after we get through the morning rush um, expect those volumes to really drop out significantly so just plan your risk carefully on whatever you decide to do um, in the market but so far what we have to say is the bulls are firmly in control and there are no signs in this chart as of yet that would suggest that is going to change anytime soon. One thing I still have um, concerns about is we are a long ways away from our 50 day moving average which tells us that you know at some point in time when the bulls finally wear out here that pullback could be a little bit um, rough not that it has to be that it could be so we'll have to be really you know just stand on your toes and watch that closely and consider the risk that you know here we are new record eyes heading into a holiday consider that risk carefully as you plan um, plan your holiday portfolio and how much you want to hold let's take a look at the spy SPY ripping to new highs really really strong now this morning we're looking at a flat open here in the spy and at least at this point looking at a flat open holding a beautiful trend here holding very strong bulls are clearly in control holding off of that support no clues in this chart whatsoever suggesting that we are ready to slip lower or uh, start breaking down as a matter of fact the bears just seem to have lost their teeth completely they 
don't seem to have any influence in this market at all. So right now, bulls are firmly in control and maybe waiting for inspiration uh, again in earnings and economic news and things like that. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues also doing the same thing, new record highs as well in the queues. Beautiful upside trend, holding very, very strong, holding in these price support levels. No major fear here at all in the market. The queue's holding up strong. Looking for a flat open though this morning, uh, relatively flat, unless we can find some additional inspiration to move the market up. IWM even decided to get with the program yesterday and popped hard. Now, it's interesting that it didn't go, it went up all uh, during the morning, but in the afternoon where we had another surge um, in the uh, Diamond Spy and Qs, it never developed here in IWM. But what a beautiful move up. And finally, finally, IWM looks like it's ready to begin participating with the rest of the markets, holding in some key support areas, moving on up strongly, looking good here overall. So big move yesterday on IWM. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX also gave us a pretty substantial move lower, suggesting that at least at this point, there is really no fear um, whatsoever in this market. You can see holding some support levels here in this chart. There is just really no fear at all in this market, dropping into an 11 handle here on the VIX. Now keep in mind, we are reaching that point where we could be reaching a bit of complacency. That always makes me nervous, but we wanna just stay focused to the price action as of right now, there's no major reason to be concerned of an imminent sell-off. Just kind of consider um, this as we head into the holiday. If you've got some nice uh, profits in your account, it might be a good time to start peeling some of those off or taking some of those profits as we head toward the holiday. Just just an idea you might want to think about. Let's take a look at um, T21. 22. The T2122 indicator, uh, four week new high, new low ratio indicator is showing us that we are pushing up toward that bearish reversal zone. Now, it doesn't suggest that we don't have more upside potential. If we find additional inspiration today to move on higher, we certainly can push on higher here in T2122. But let's keep in mind, once we reach up there, we typically kind of top out for a little bit and we need a, a rest or a pullback. Now that doesn't mean the pull, it has to be a, a uh, full on sell off or anything like that um, in any way, shape or form. As a matter of fact, we could just consolidate. We could have a nice light consolidation up here and T2122 would pull back. So watch that closely. Um, don't think that I'm just um, saying, hey, be prepared for a big bear market to come. Um, and as a matter of fact, I, I hate people, not hate people, but I hate um, uh, folks who think they can predict the overall market condition because it it's truly, truly impossible with all of the political and economic events out there that are around, you know, to, to think that we can predict um, what the next move in the market is, is actually pretty darn silly when you think about it. So all we can do as traders is just really be focused in on the price action of the charts, price action of the market, and base our decisions on what we see. You get involved in predicting and you end up um, making some terrible mistakes in your trading, may have already experienced that so just stay focused on that price action and try not to have a bias and just wait for the market to shift right now it's all bulls all the time there is no sign in the market whatsoever no sign in the trend whatsoever that the bears are even here to play so keep that in mind just we just have to always be watchful of that time when that shift may occur and it could shift pretty quickly because we have moved up a long ways for a long time here. So just keep that in mind. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar 
does have quite a few things that could move us around today. So we'll have to be aware of this as we move throughout the day. Right here at 8.30 this morning, um, Eastern Time, we have international trading goods. They're expecting that to decline just a little bit, but um, I don't expect that to really be a major market mover uh, this morning. It could if, it, if it's a surprise, but right now, probably not expecting that to be a major market mover. Um, um, S&P Core Logic will come in at 9 p.m. Can move the market from time to time, but I think the market moving events today are going to be right here at 10 a.m. The new home sales number and consumer confidence. Both of those are expected to hold up very, very strong. So watch that closely. Those could be the inspiration for the bulls to move even higher today. We'll want to watch that pretty closely. Now, of course, if they if there's a surprise miss, um, obviously the bears might come out to play but so far there's uh, no indication that that um, would be the case we'll just have to watch those pretty close keep in mind we have a fed speaker here uh, later on this afternoon but i doubt we learn anything more from that fed speaker um today so um we do have a pretty good bunch of earnings this morning um that we will want to keep an eye on and um some even some this afternoon um adsk ADSK will be reporting today so you'll want to keep your eye on that uh box box is reporting Today it looks like uh, might be trying to move a little bit higher this morning. Uh, might want to keep an eye on that one. We have um, Dell. Dell reporting today. It looks like Dell is trying to gap maybe just a tiny little bit higher this morning. We'll want to keep an eye on that. VMW also reporting. Um, today so we've got a pretty good uh, group of earnings report GES um, reporting today and Dick's sporting goods um, reporting today it looks wow where Dick's go wow they're really gapping higher here this morning Dick's sporting goods on fire this morning there we go so keep an eye on um, those earnings reports they can move us around quite a little bit this morning but it's mostly um, I think probably more likely we're going to see price action coming from those 10 a.m. Eastern um, economic cal uh, calendar reports. So watch those close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day in your trading and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. And also, if you feel this video is worthy, please do me a favor and leave a comment. Um, one of the questions I'd like to ask everyone today is, um, I try to do as much as I can in these videos without, um, you know, without wasting your time. We're really looking at the technicals, no predicting, any of those kind of things. But if there's something else you would like me to, to, um, to put into these videos, just leave that in a comment below. I'd like to see that. Um, I want to do the best job I can for you guys in, um, in these videos so think about that and um, by the way you don't have to do that just today but any day uh, feel free to give me comments on those kind of things everyone I want to wish you all the very best today and hopefully you find this video helpful in um, your market endeavors for the day to just help you focus in on the the technicals of the chart and prevent that idea of predicting or rushing or anything uh, like that, that hopefully it will help focus you into how you want to approach the market for the day with that calm focus on price action. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up today. And um, a few of these stocks, you know, you've already uh, looked at and seen. Um, but I want to cover a few of these uh, stocks today because there are some good potential trades um, that have formed up. And yesterday, really, there's, there's more stocks moving up than we can really afford to trade. So you have to be kind of picky and choosy about the trades that you might want to take. 
take. Keep in mind, every stock that I mentioned in this video is part of the education. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Put these uh, charts potentially on a list if you like them. Watch list, evaluate them, and make sure if you decide to trade them that you make these trades your own. All right, let's take a look at a few of those charts. One of those being Oracle. Now, Oracle, I had an alert set right here, and it just all day long just continue to tease right along there trying to pop through and you can see we have a resistance in this chart right through this area and if that can pop on up through there there may be some opportunities now one thing I would like to point out is the trend here and our trend is pretty substantial um, holding up very very well you can see where we have been reacting to that, that trend very well so even though this could pop and go early don't be too surprised to see this continue to consolidate over toward that trend before it actually takes off to the upside but Oracle looking very very good now Intel I had a price alert very much the same as Oracle um, we've been testing this resistance high right here in Intel and yesterday that all that bullishness we got a little bit of a lift and pushed on through that level now full disclosure I did pick up a small position here in Intel uh, based on that move but I am not going to be at all surprised if this were to consider con continue consolidating over toward its trend now it can pop out and continue to do that we could see it pop through and then um, end up in more of that consolidating move over to the trend but watch that close it it is entirely possible that a stock can change its trend trajectory and that could happen right in here so I wanted to get into that trade but I got to tell you there is a high possibility of some more rest um, in this position so keep that in mind it's a good looking stock everything is looking good here like the trade and thinking um, uh, there is more upside potential here in that stock um, for a short side trade you might want to take a look at AT&T AT&T on the daily short failing if I move over here failing right at its 50 day moving average we call this a blue ice failure pattern failing through that 50 day moving average and that is a pretty ugly failure here on AT&T so watch that I actually picked up a put trade on that it's interesting this morning that it is trying to lift back up just a tiny little bit so we'll keep an eye on that but AT&T um, on the daily here not looking too healthy here all of a sudden we might want to keep an eye on that chart for a possible short take a look at MLNX MLNX all day long yesterday just kept teasing trying to break through my alert here trying to break through that level this is another one of those charts running right into resistance and consolidating that move so keep that in mind this could continue that consolidation for some time now all the way over to trend but with the bullishness of the market don't rule out that possibility that could pop and go at any time and it's one to keep an eye on um, overall um, good charts in a lot of places take a look at General Electric GE breaking higher here now GE has some congestion area right in here to deal with but I think what's interesting is GE has made a really nice move here it popped through my alert last couple of days and pulled back and um, there is a possibility this could continue to rest but let's make note that the 50 day is about is crossing up through that 200 day now so we're starting to get that bullish move here in um, General Electric we'll see if it can uh, continue to push on through and keep on moving higher take a look at FEYE FireEye has been holding up pretty well in this nice trend you can see a nice little trend up consolidating over toward its trend watching this one and to see if that can finally pop on out now there is a major resistance level up in here so I'm not expecting any great things in this chart but just that opportunity that it could pop on a little bit higher here so watch that one 
pretty darn close. You know, one of the members yesterday brought up a stock LVS. Now, LVS had a really good move here yesterday, really strong move, but it wasn't the daily chart they were looking at. They were actually looking at a longer term trade. Take a look at this. You can see a very nice bullish chart if you like those longer term trades. Um, and I do. Um, breaking of the downtrend, holding a nice little uptrend, holding at support, challenging some resistance levels in the chart up in here. So we'll want to watch this pretty closely if that can continue to move on up here. It was a pretty good day for these gaming stocks. Might want to keep the, one of those on your list as well. So with that, everyone, last but not least, I got it. I got to bring this up is the financials, even though I'm running long here. XLF, if you take a look at XLF and take a look at the daily chart here on XLF, beautiful, beautiful move. There's one of those nice little tight consolidations up here, breaking through, holding up. Everything's looking good here on the financials. And you can actually go to individual stocks like JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, um, uh, Bank of America, Citibank. Um, there's just a, a lot of those uh, financial stocks looking very good. So if you're looking for a, um, a nice trade in the financial sector, there are plenty of choices to uh, to be made. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you great profits in your trading. Once again, please do me a favor, click that subscribe button and also click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. You guys are awesome. Have a great day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.